Hi everybody, so here we are. We're looking at big topic areas that you need to give an extra 5-10% to in your revision for paper one, for microeconomics in particular here. Make sure that you've got essay plans for all of these topic areas and also make sure that you've got good application. Application nuggets here and that requires you maybe to do some strong research. So let's not waste any time, let's get into it. The topic area of government intervention to deal with highly concentrated markets. We're talking nationalization, deregulation, privatization, monopoly regulation are all big headers here. Now, these are very common essay questions every single year. Um, it did come up last year for sure. Now, different examples asked different questions last year. Go and hunt down what your example asked and look at the other options that didn't feature. If there is one in particular, it's nationalization. The nationalization of rail services in the UK. Yeah, give an extra 5-10% for that, that's for sure. But outside of that, deregulation, deregulation of buses, deregulation of air, um, but also consider monopoly regulation. This maximum price on energy, this price cap on energy that has now been announced is going to take place, going to be enforced from next year, uh, but it's been announced by the Conservative Party, but it, it had been discussed significantly before that as well. Labour governments before this current Conservative one as well were discussing it heavily, and this Conservative Party now announced it. So that could well feature. It's featured in previous years, in old exam papers. It could well feature as well here. So this general topic area. And if you're an exam board where privatisation didn't come up last year, then yeah, give an extra 5-10% towards privatisation. But this is a topic area that's often under-revised. You've got to make sure you don't under-revise it. Going back to nationalisation, I say nationalisation of rail, that's the one that really does stand out. But bear in mind that Jeremy Corbyn has proposed to nationalise not just rail, but water, gas, electricity and Royal Mail too. Uh, I don't feel like it's going to be nationalisation of any of those three. Could be, could be, but I feel nationalisation of rail is the one that stands out the most. It's always worth giving an extra chunk of time to market failure. It's a huge part of the course pretty much guaranteed to feature in your exam. What are we looking for this year? Well, more unconventional market failures. Policies to deal with plastic waste is an interesting topic area. Policies to deal with atmospheric pollution, so we're looking at tradable pollution permits, carbon taxation. Um, the minimum price, recent implementation of minimum price on alcohol in Scotland is something extra to go and research, make sure you're aware of. And another major topic area is state provision. A lot of talk about the NHS, funding for healthcare in this country, um, the healthcare crisis, NHS crisis. So looking at the state provision is the only option of allocating health services in the UK. Uh, but not just with healthcare, with the allocation of public goods. So state provision in that context. So bear those four kind of major market failure topic areas in mind. Plastic waste, atmospheric pollution, minimum price on alcohol, and state provision. Very important that you learn market fairly well. It's very hard to know the exact context and the exact policy, but what you can do is make sure that you revise market fairly to the maximum you can. That's a big tip for me there. Another topic area quite heavily linked to market fairly, but kind of is on its own, is the housing market. And looking at issues in the housing market and then policies to deal with those issues. The key issues really are twofold. It's affordability of housing, especially for young people. Um, and then it's also very tight supply. The market is not open. You could argue there is factor immobility. There are issues with the allocation of resources in the housing market there. So you guys understanding policies to deal with those problems, but also understanding context in terms of what's happened already with government policy is important. So just make sure you give an extra bit of time towards the housing market in the UK. Another big hitter is market structures, another topic area that you should really look to specialise in. This and market failure, it's a rational thing to do, to try and specialise in it. Again, you're pretty much guaranteed a big essay question from market structures. Now, for your example, go to last year's paper, see what question came up, what market structures featured, and then you know that pretty much that one is not going to come up again. It's going to be something from the others. If there is a certain market structure that really does stand out, it's contestable markets. So many markets have become more contestable. Technology has helped there. Uh, if we look at airlines, we look at taxis and a variety of other markets, but those two stand out as well as hotels with Airbnb. Uh, a question about the impact of contestability, discussing the impact. Maybe a question discussing the role of technology. Maybe a question discussing just simply whether a market is contestable or not. 
or the extent to which is contestable or not. That really does scream considering how the world has changed over the last kind of two to five years really with how markets are so much more contestable now. Whether that's a good thing or not, uh, discussing that certainly. Um, give an extra chunk of time to making sure you understand that topic area. Also, price discrimination stands out. There have been some very good recent examples where we can talk about price discrimination. Um, all of this in the context of Uber. Yeah, Uber, we're looking at Airbnb, we're looking at Norwegian Airlines, okay? In this kind of context, um, you should make sure you've got good application for. But like I said, any of the market structures I didn't feature last year um, could well feature this year. So not just that topic area and be prepared for anything. Um, at Excel students, bear in mind that nothing really featured from market structures last year. So something big is, is likely for you here, I would think. I want to finish by talking about the labour market. The labour market. So many students ask me about the labour market and, you know, what might feature and what areas do we need to make sure that we're okay with with the labour market. Well, certain areas come to mind. Income inequality. Now, some examples already asked this question last year, in which case it's not likely. But some examples have totally left it out. And Excel come to mind again here. But income inequality, policies to deal with it, the problems with it, whether we need to deal with it, income inequality, yeah, make sure you focus on that. For examples where it already came up, looking at the impact of trade unions would be an interesting touch here. Uh, if not trade unions, looking at the impact of wage discrimination, yeah. All of these topic areas have got very good videos on. I know a lot of students contact me and you guys say, look, I'm not a big fan of the labor market. It's quite technical, it's quite difficult, true, but it's also very interesting. It's also an examiner's favorite. Certain examples really love the labor market. So make sure you're well prepped, you're well uh, ready here for an exam question if it does come up. So income inequality is something around the topic of inequality if it didn't feature last year. If it did, the role of unions, the importance of unions, discussing the impact of unions or wage discrimination, interesting topic areas as well for you guys. So all the topic areas I've mentioned here, guys, give an extra chunk of time towards for sure. Bear in mind, I've got videos covering all of this stuff on my channel. So if you want to get the proper theory, the proper detail, just watch the videos and make sure your notes are solid here. Like I said, essay plan all these potential areas. And also make sure you go and hunt down the application. Yeah, so give an extra five, 10% towards these topic areas. And uh, who knows, yeah, you could be in an excellent place when the exam finally comes along. So thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video.